Welcome to our channel. This video covers the accidents reporting and recording, 20 questions and answers from the CITB book, Health, Safety and Environment Test for Operatives and Specialists. This video is part of a series covering all the questions and answers from this booklet. A link has been provided in the top right corner of this video to continue with the next video in the series. For your information, the actual CSCS test is 45 minutes long. You will need to answer at least 45 out of 50 questions correctly to be successful in the test. Wishing you all the best. Thank you and let's get started. Question 1. You have suffered an injury caused by an accident at work and as a result you are absent for more than 7 days. Which two of the following actions must be taken? A. The accident must be recorded in the site accident book. B. The emergency services are called to assess the circumstances of the accident. C. The local hospital and the benefits office must be informed. D. Your employer should inform the health and safety executive, HSE. E. You must pay for any first aid equipment used to treat your injury. The correct answers are A and D. A. The accident must be recorded in the site accident book. D. Your employer should inform the health and safety executive. HSE. Question 2. If your doctor says that you have Viles disease, leptospirosis, contracted when on site, why do you need to tell your employer? A. Your employer has to warn your colleagues not to go anywhere near you. B. Your employer will have to report it to the health and safety executive. HSE. C. Your work colleagues might catch it from you. D. The site on which you contracted it will have to be closed down. The correct answer is, B. Your employer will have to report it to the health and safety executive, HSE. Question 3. Which two of the following will help you find out about the site emergency procedures and emergency telephone numbers? A. Guidance from the health and safety executive, HSE. B. Reading the site notice boards. C. Guidance from your local job center plus. D. Attending the site induction. E. Looking in the telephone directory. The correct answers are B. Reading the site notice boards. D. Attending the site induction. Question 4. What is the main objective of carrying out an accident investigation? A. To find out who is at fault. B. To find out the causes in order to prevent it happening again. C. To find out the cost of any damage that occurred. D. To record what injuries were sustained. The correct answer is, B, to find out the causes in order to prevent it happening again. Question 5. You are involved in an incident on site that was dangerous but no one was injured. Who must you report this, dangerous occurrence, to? A, your site supervisor or the site manager. B, the client for the project. C, the rest of the workforce. D, the first aider. The correct answer is, A, your site supervisor or the site manager. Question 6. Accidents causing any injury should always be recorded in the A. Main contractor's diary. B. Accident report book. C. Site engineer's day book. D. Subcontractor's diary. The correct answer is B. Accident report book. Question 7. Which two of the following items are not recorded in an accident book? A your national insurance number. B. Your telephone number. C. The date and time of the accident. D. The injuries sustained. E. Your home address. The correct answers are. A. Your national insurance number. B. Your telephone number. Question 8. If someone is injured at work, who should record it in the accident book? A. The site manager and no one else. B. The injured person or someone acting for them. C. The first aider and no one else. D. Someone from the health and safety executive. HSE. The correct answer is. B. The injured person or someone acting for them. Question 9. You have witnessed a serious accident on your site and are to be interviewed by a health and safety executive. HSE. Inspector. Should you. A. Ask your supervisor what you should say to the inspector. B. Not tell the inspector anything. C. Cooperate and tell the inspector exactly what you saw. D. 
Tell the inspector what your workmates have told you. The correct answer is C. Cooperate and tell the inspector exactly what you saw. Question 10. A scaffold has collapsed and you saw it happen. When you are asked about the accident, you should say, uh, nothing. You are not a scaffold expert. B. As little as possible because you don't want to get people into trouble. C. Exactly what you saw. D. Who you think is to blame and how they should be punished. The correct answer is C. Exactly what you saw. Question 11. In an emergency an assembly point is the a site manager's office. B. Place of the incident or accident. C. Welfare facilities. D. Specified place to gather after an evacuation. The correct answer is D. Specified place to gather after an evacuation. Question 12. In an emergency you should A. Leave site. B. Phone home. C. Follow the site emergency procedure. D. Phone the health and safety executive. HSE. The correct answer is C. Follow the site emergency procedure. Question 13. When must you record an accident in the accident book? A. If you are injured in any way. B. Only if you have to be off work. C. Only if you have suffered a broken bone. D. Only if you have to go to hospital. The correct answer is A. If you are injured in any way. Question 14. If someone is injured at work, who should record it in the accident book? A. The site manager and no one else. B. The injured person or someone acting for them. C. The first aider and no one else. D. Someone from the health and safety executive. HSE. The correct answer is B. The injured person or someone acting for them. Question 15. An entry must be made in the accident book when A. An accident causes personal injury to any worker. B. The person has been off sick for three days. C. The severity of the accident may result in a compensation claim. D. Management thinks it appropriate. The correct answer is A. An accident causes personal injury to any worker. Question 16. Why is it important to report all accidents? A. It might stop them happening again. B. Some types of accident have to be reported to the health and safety executive. HSE. C. Details have to be entered in the accident book. D. All of these answers. The correct answer is. D. All of these answers. Question 17. If you have a minor accident, who should report it? A. Anyone who saw the accident happen. B. A subcontractor. C. U. D. The health and safety executive. HSE. The correct answer is. C. U. Question 18. While working on site you get a small cut on one of your fingers. What should you do? A. Report it at the end of the day or the end of the shift. B. Wash it. And if it is not a problem carrying on working. C. Clean it up and tell your supervisor about it later. D. Report it and get first aid if necessary. The correct answer is. D. Report it and get first aid if necessary. Question 19. Why should you report an accident? A. It helps the site find out who caused it. B. It is a legal requirement. C. So that the site manager can see who is to blame. D. So that your company will be held responsible. The correct answer is. B. It is a legal requirement. Question 20. You have witnessed a serious accident on your site. Should you. A. Say nothing to anyone in case you get someone into trouble. B. Ask your workmates what they think you should do. C. Telephone the local hospital. D. Tell your supervisor that you saw what happened. The correct answer is. D. Tell your supervisor that you saw what happened. Congratulations. You have completed the accidents reporting and recording questionnaire. Please continue with the next video in this series. Link is provided in the top right corner of this video.